Hello, welcome back. We stopped earlier with the material setup and now we are continuing with the animation blueprint and the blend space. Well, go into animations, right click in the empty space and go under the animation tab and select um, blend space 1D. We will need the blend space 1D uh, and not the, not the blend space with two dimensional axis because we always will uh, rotate into the direction we are clicking towards. So this is just useful if you have um, well, side walking and all these kind of third person um, blend states where you can strafe right, strafe left and so on but we don't need it in Hackett Slash. So we just use the Blend Space 1D. Just select it, select the Total Car Mesh Skeleton and give it the name um, Tutorial Car BS. Not for bullshit, <laughs> but for Blend Space. Okay. Then we double click on it and this window appears. Well, I have to say something first. Um, they changed the layout of this here in version 4.15. You can't enable the vertical um, axis anymore. I don't know how. Maybe it works. Uh, but uh, I can't find the option here. So you will end up with a hor horizontal axis here. Um, we have in the under the axis settings our horizontal axis and with this arrow you can well open it and close it and the name we will give it is the name speed. We will later access this input point or this input uh, pin and uh, relay our uh, character blueprint velocity to the input variable called speed. Now we have the minimum axis value from 0 and 100. That just means what is the minimum here and the maximum like here uh, of our range where we can smoothly transition from one uh, animation state to another. I will set the maximum value to 375 because I will use the same speed in our El Diablo car blueprint. So open the El Diablo car blueprint, open the full blueprint editor and go to the character movement component. Now look at max walk speed and I already set it to 375. Um, you can also press this button, this will revert back to the default value, but because we want to use 375 as a speed, well, we will input it and compile it and save the El Diablo car blueprint. Now we go back to our blend space and we go from the right panel and drag in the idle animation to the zero value. This will basically start to animate now. On the max axis, we will drag in the walk animation from the tutorial car. So you can actually, so you end up actually with these two uh, animation states, the idle animation and the walk animation. Now, we we'll save it first. Um, we don't need to change anything here, but our blend space is already set up. So you can close it. Now we will create the animation blueprint. So go under animations where your tutorial car blend space is, right click in an empty space, go under animation and select animation blueprint. We will select the tutorial car mesh skeleton press OK and then we will call it tutorial car anim bp. 
That just, uh, that's just an abbreviation for Animation Blueprint. Double click on our Animation Blueprint. And we will get this node. We are actually in the animation graph and we can have a lot of submenus here. But I will tell you how, um, how it works and how you go into them. First thing we need here is we need a state machine. And a state machine is basically a, a, a system which controls our animation and where we can actually play some logic how animation how animations behave when they need to transition and all this stuff. You can do that with state machines and it's basically a pretty old uh, system uh, in regards to game development. So just uh, right click, type in state and on the state machines click on add new state machine. You will end up with such a node and we will change the name here to motion so we know what it actually does. We connect these two pins and the, the blue node uh, label will be gone. But now we have a warning here and it says entry node motion is not connected to state. That's because we didn't specify a, an animation state right now. We can do that by double clicking the motion window here and we will get into this motion state machine. In the end, after this entry, entry pin we will uh, connect it with the tutorial car blue, uh, blend space. So click on it, drag it in and then connect it with the tutorial car BS. Compile and save. As you see um, the animation was um, was acknowledged and was accepted and the tutorial blend space zero um, value is being played. Okay, now we double click onto the tutorial car BS label and then we have our input speed value. We need to drive it in some way, so we need a variable, a float. So click on add new, click on variable and then type in speed. Change your vari variable type from boolean to float and compile and save. Now we can drag the speed variable in. We need the get value to get our values and we plug it into the speed input pin. These two will not be in conflict with each other because that's an input pin and not a variable. If you have variables which are named uh, exactly the same, it will change them to uh, speed 1 or speed 2 or anything like that. But because it's, that's an input pin, uh, we don't need to rename our speed variable. So it's all dandy. We set up the speed and the blend space and now we will get to the event graph. So click on event graph up here or if you want to go uh, from a different place to the event graph you can click here or double click here. You can also find your anim graph here. Now right click and type in try get pawn owner this one here. Drag out from the blueprint or blue pin and type in velocity. The get velocity is the one we need and drag out from the yellow pin here and type in um, length. We need the vector length here. Now what this does is basically it gets um, the blueprint or uh, the character blueprint which the animation blueprint is assigned to. So we will basically get our character blueprint, get the velocity or a current velocity of our uh, character blueprint 
and put it out as a float value, just one float value. And we can use this to input it into our speed variable to drive our animations. So drag out the speed variable and click this time on set. Connect the vector length with the speed variable. And the last thing you need to do is drag out from the try get pawn owner and type in is valid and click this question mark one. Is valid will basically check if an object is inactive or active right now. If it isn't, it will not execute this code. That's just for performance reasons. Um, you don't need to run an animation on an inactive um, actor because it's just inefficient. So always uh, take this uh, is valid node and put it between your logic, which comes afterwards, and directly after the event blueprint update animation. On is valid will be connected to the set variable and we are set. Compile and save. Now, the thing is, um, your animations will probably be on one or anything like that. So, if I set my animations back, well, just click, double click on walk animation, and normally you'll get it on one, the walk animation on one. This is too slow for the walking animation. And you will basically have to look at it and you have to look if it looks right. Um, uh, if you are moving uh, in the scene, in the world outliner, or if you use the speed variable and put in some certain values to check if it's actually too slow for, for the character, uh, for the character speed. Um, so because that's too slow, we will put it to something like 2.5. So it matches up with our uh, maximum um, character blueprint velocity. And yeah, then we just close it, compile it, and we have set up our animation blueprint. Set the speed back to zero, very important. So we, uh, so we don't get a weird animation running at, right at the start. And yeah, we are good to go. Now, the last thing we need to do is go into the El Diablo content, double click on El Diablo car blueprint, go under our mesh component, and then on the right panel, select in the anime class our newly created tutorial car animation blueprint. Compile and save. And here we are. It's working perfectly. So in the next part we will actually let our character move and move uh, her around. Um, we might do a little bit more than that, but that will basically be the least or the minimum we will do with the character. So next part will be about moving in general and left clicking and input management and so on. So I hope you, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening or whatever. And yeah, see ya.